Today's quick tip is hugs are great at every age. When our kids start to get a little bit older, sometimes we think they've grown out of hand holding and hugs and all the tactile stuff. And for some kids, this was never a thing that really worked for them anyway. But if you have a kid who has at some point in their childhood been a huggy, tactile kind of kid, who you love to cuddle and they love to cuddle you back and that brought you both comfort, please do not assume that just because they hit a certain age that that is no longer something that would be appreciated. They might only be accepting of it at certain times behind closed doors when no one can see them or only at, you know, just pick your moment, I guess, is my point. But actually there are very few kids who find that kind of input pleasing at some age who totally grow out of it. They might go through a phase where they kind of push away a little bit but being held and feeling safe and supported from an adult that you care and trust is a gift across the whole of a life course. Um, it, it's something that no matter how old you get, being, being held, being cared for, being just knowing that you're safe and that you're loved is a really, really wonderful thing. So I just wanted to remind that as today's quick tip. If you've got a kid who used to love to be hugged and you've not hugged them recently, just maybe just see if they might be up for a little little snuggle. They might, they might. Um, and if they're not now, then again, revisit it as they get a little bit older. Quite often kids grow back into this stuff again at the other side. Um, I would love to hear, are you a huggy kind of family? Are you a tactile family? Have you found that your kids have gone through different stages of being open to hugs and then not being so much up for it and then returning? I'd love to hear your experiences. Do comment with your thoughts here. And if you're not a huggy family, then what do you do instead? How do you kind of show that unconditional care and affection um, between you and you, the children in your care? I'd love to hear about that. I hope this was a helpful thought, something to get you thinking. Uh, if you're enjoying my content, please consider heading over to my Patreon page where if you so wish and you can afford to, you can make a small donation each month to help me keep creating my content for parents and carers to help you to help your children. Until next time.